So real quick, uh, sorry for the quality of video. Sorry I've been off for probably a handful of days here, but um, there's been a lot of misconceptions since I've come out my last draft profile video, and I kind of want to make this a Giants rant video. But before I do, I want to tell everybody to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell. So real quick, the two Giant rant is uh, that I've heard common misconceptions we're in the third year of rebuild, we're not. I'll get into that in a second. And the other one is... Leonard Williams and the 3-4 defense. That's going to be for another video because people don't understand 3-4 defense at all. And then uh, Dave Gettleman, if he doesn't achieve a certain record, should be fired. Some of this stuff is going to be repeat, but bear with me. So Fireside Giants comes out on their podcast either this week or last week and says, we're in the third year of a rebuild. Are you fucking kidding me? No, we're not in the year of the third year of a rebuild. You don't take your quarterback halfway through a rebuild. The 2018-2019 season, even though Dave Gettleman was hired in the back half of the 2017 season, I don't count any of the moves he made over that span. His moves came down to the 2018-2019 season. None of the moves in the beginning of that season, meaning over that offseason, consisted of rebuild. None of those moves can screamed rebuild at all. Regardless if they worked out or not, None of those moves screamed rebuild. Okay? So we didn't start rebuilding there. We re rebuilt last year in the 2018, or to, sorry, 2019 2020 season. That was the first year of rebuild. We took Daniel Jones. That was a symbolizing to the fan base hey, we have to go in a new direction. Ownership thought that we had a winning squad and that 2017 was just a fluke season. Uh uh. They were dead wrong. I don't put a whole lot of blame on Dave Gettleman because of the mess he inherited from Jerry Reese. I'm not saying all his moves were brilliant. They haven't been. You've had some bad moves like Jonathan Stewart, uh, Alec Ogletree, and maybe if you want to point into some of them this year, but it remains to be seen on those. We have to watch the season. I put the blame on ownership because they've been the only constant. Uh, a lot of people tying that in, a lot of people want Dave Gettleman fired. That would be wrong. Because ownership made the stupid decision of firing Pat Shermer. And I told you guys over the offseason, it was a stupid decision to fire Pat Shermer. Because now you're off schedule. You want to hire your GM and your coach. Most successful teams do it in that order. If we fire Dave Gettleman this year, what GM wants to come in here? None. The answer is none. You can give me a billion names all you want. The answer is none. Because they don't get decision over coach or personnel or who their quarterback is, any of the big decisions that a lot of GMs make. The only GM you're going to get, and I've made a video before, and I, maybe I should leave a link to it, but I won't, is Kevin Abrams. Kevin Abrams is the only logical choice to ride out the time here with Joe Judge and his staff. Ownership has made mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. Dave Gettleman has made some questionable trades and some okay to bad free agent signings. But a lot of teams do that. Other than that, he's been relatively good at drafting. And there's a ton of more misconceptions I can get into. But these are the two that I wanted to get to in this rant. Again, another one, another one I'm going to do on Friday. And I'll title it a little bit differently because this one is just just to get some content out to you guys because I haven't done so in a little while and I kind of feel bad. And the other one is I'll talk about the 3-4 defense and Leonard Williams and how that all ties in because there's a lot of Giants fans that don't understand the 3-4 defense and don't understand Leonard Williams' role in the 3-4. I'm not justifying the Leonard Williams trade or how much he's getting paid. None of that is a justification. But if you understand his role in the 3-4 better, you get an understanding of why he's not producing the amount of sacks you want him to. Either way, it's been OGR Sports, and I will catch you on the next vid.